everyone, my name is Sara Speranza Manano from BSK 2 e 3 Today, I will discuss the different complex crimes in a specialized investigation with legal medicine. This activity is my recitation in subject CDI2, uh, Mom Burden and Palomera. Happy learning everyone! Specialized investigation with legal medicine. First, what is a specialized investigation with legal medicine? It is a special study of modern techniques in the investigation of serious and specific crime. This focuses on specific crimes which by their nature are difficult and complex to investigate. It refers to the use of medical and scientific knowledge to assist in legal matters. It involves examination of physical evidence, collection and analysis of data, and the inter interpretation of findings. This method has become increasingly important in modern justice systems where experts' opinions are often relied upon in complex legal cases. Ang special investigation with legal medicine daw ay isang special na pag-aaral doon sa mga komplikado at complex na krimen katulad ng robbery, ng rape, ng homicide. Yun ay yung mga mahirap at kailangan ng special na pag-aaral dahil yung mga physical evidence ng mga yun ay kailangan pang pag-aralan at saka yung findings ay kailangan accurate dun sa crime. Robbery is a complex crime in specialized investigation with legal medicine. First, what is robbery? Robbery is the crime of taking or attempting to take anything of value by force, threat of force, or by use of fear. Robbery is defined as the act of taking something from someone by using force or threats. This is considered a serious crime in most countries and is often punishable by imprisonment. Examples of robbery include stealing someone's purse or wallet by using physical force or intimidation or breaking into a house and taking valuable items while threatening the occupants inside. So, ang robbery daw ay pagkuha mo ng gamit na hindi, na hindi mo pagmamayari na, ginam, na ginamitan mo ng force, ng threats, or ng intimidation para makuha mo yung isang bagay na hindi sa'yo. Theft is the act of taking someone else's property without their permission. It involves illegally appropriating something that belongs to someone else with the intent of keeping it for oneself. Example of theft is Stealing money from a store cash register or taking someone's phone without their consent. Ang theft ay pagkuha din ng property ng ibang tao na wala din permission. Pero um, kung sa robbery ay may ginagamitan ng force or pamimilit ganon, sa theft naman ay hindi. Ito yung intention mo lang talagang kuhanin yung pag-aari ng ibang tao. Next complex crime is homicide. Homicide occurs when a person kills another person. A homicide requires only a volitional act or omission that causes the death of another. And thus, a homicide may result from accidental, reckless, or negligent acts even if there is no intent to cause harm. Homicide is the killing of another person. It is considered a criminal offense in most places and can be classified as either murder. Murder is intentionally killing someone with malice, awkward thought while manlister is killing someone accidentally or recklessly without malice or forethought. Yung ano, yung manlister yun ay homicide. Example of homicide include shooting someone during a robbery or causing a fatal car accident while driving under the influence. Next, complex crime is murder. Murder is the unlawful killing of another human without justification of valid excuses, especially the unlawful killing of another woman with malice aforethought. This state of mind may, depending upon the jurisdiction, distinguish murder from other forms of unlawful homicide such as manluster. Murder, um, it is an intentional act of killing another person with the justification of excuses. It is considered the most serious form of homicide and is punishable by law. The act involves premeditation and malice upward thought, indicating that the perpetrator had the intent to kill before carrying out the act. So, ang murder daw ay ano, ito yung pinagpaplanuhan talaga kasi 
Bago sabi dito, had the intent to kill before carrying out the act. Ito ay intention talaga patayin ng, ng perpetrator yung isang tao kasi uh, pinaplanuhan niya ito bago niya gawin yung act. Ganun. Tapos sa homicide naman ay ano, accidental. Halimbawa, um, pag na, may naganap na pagnanakaw, tapos yung victim pala may sakit sa puso, makukonsider yun ng robbery with homicide kasi um, hindi intensyon ng perpetrator na patayin yung yung victim. Ang intensyon niya lang dun ay pagnanakaw. Next is corrupt and graft practices. Graft refers to the use of one's position of power for personal gain. Corrupt practices include bribery, embezzlement, and nepotism. These unethical actions often result in a breach of trust and harm the overall functioning of society. So, ang graft and corrupt practices daw, ito yung mga nasa politika, ito yung mga mga actions na ginagawa ng nasa politika. Ang ang maaaring pumasok dito yung bribery, yung pagnanakaw ng isang politika. Ang corrupt with graft practices lang ay ma maipapataw doon sa nasa mga matataas na posisyon or kahit nasa baba, mababang posisyon. Basta nasa politika at may naganap na pagnanakaw, ayun ay makukonsider na graft um, with corrupt practices and corrupt practices. Next complex crime is kidnapping. Kidnapping is the unlawful abduction, or exportation, and confinement of a person against their will. Kidnapping is typically but necessarily accomplished by use of force or fear. It can be done for various reasons such as for ransom, revenge, or sexual slavery. Kidnapping is the unlawful um, abducting um, or confining a person, um, pagkuha sa isang tao ng nang wala na ng consent, um, um, pwede nga sa nito ay yung ransom, yung kukuha ng isang tao para sa pera, para, para kapalit ay pera, tapos revenge, pagigilante, at saka sexual slavery. Next is serious illegal detention. Any private individual who shall kidnap or detain another or in any other mother deprive him of his liberty shall suffer the penalty of reflection perpetua to death. Serious illegal detention is a criminal offense in which a person is unlawfully deprived of their liberty. It is di distinguished from illegal detention by the presence of aggravating circumstances such as violence, threats, or use of deadly weapons. The punishment for serious illegal detention varies depending on the jurisdiction but can in include for um, imprisonment for years. Next is the anti-fencing law. Possession of stolen goods is considered fencing and it is a crime. The anti-fencing law was created to address rampant robbery and thievery of government and private properties from which culprits profited because of people willing to pay for stolen products. Um, that criminalized the act of selling or buying stolen goods. It was enacted in 1979 to curb the rampant sale of stolen items, which fuels criminal activity. The law imposes penalties on those who engage in fencing activities, including imprisonment and fines. For instance, if a person knowingly buys and resells a stolen cell phone, they could be prosecuted under the anti-fencing law. The burden of proof is on the accused to prove that they had no knowledge the items was stolen. So, ang anti-fencing law daw ay um, pagbili or pagbibenta ng mga nakaw na gamit. As simple as that po. Tsaka yung magbebenta, tsaka yung bibili ng galing sa nakaw ay maaaring ma-prosecute or makasuhan ng anti-fencing law. Next is the anti-cattle wrestling law. Cattle wrestling is taking away by any means, method, or scheme without the consent of the owner or raiser of any of the above-mentioned animals whether or not for profit or gain, or whether committed with or without violence against or intimidation of any person or force upon things. The anti-cattle wrestling law is a legislation that seeks to criminalize the theft and illegal trade of cattle or livestock. The law typically prescribes measures such as hefty fines, imprisonment, and even death penalty for offenders. 
So, ang antikada versing na daw ay ang pagkuha ng isang bag na isang um, animal na hindi sayo. Ah, halimbawa, nito ay may naganap na bagyo. Yung yung kalabaw na lunod, kinuha mo, hindi mo alam kung sinong may are. Maaari ka makasuha ng anti-cattle roasting no? kasi hindi naman sa'yo yung animal na yon eh kinuha mo. Tapos, hindi mo na ibalik sa may are o hindi mo na report sa kinauukulan na merong kang nakuhang animal during that uh, disaster. Next is rape. Rape is a criminal act that involves not consensual sexual penetration or assault on someone's body. It is a serious offense and is punishable by law. The victim of rape may experience physical, emotional, and psychological trauma that can affect their life for a long time. An example of rape could be a man forcing himself on a woman even after she said no, or someone taking advantage of someone who is too intoxicated to give proper consent. Um, rape is a type of sexual assault involving sexual and intercourse or other forms of sexual penetration carried out against a person without their consent. So, ang rape daw ay um, um, sexual intercourse ng isang babae at isang lalaki na walang consent yung babae. And the last one is abortion. It is a termination of pregnancy usually before the fetus is able to survive outside the womb. The issue of abortion is highly controversial and often involves discussion on the rights of the mother and the rights of the fetus. In some countries, abortion is legal and accessible, while in others, it is highly restricted and even illegal. Ang abortion ay may two um, parang categories ng abortion which is uh, intentional and non-intentional. Um, Ang intentional ay ito yung intention mo talagang ipalaglag yung bata at yung non-intentional ay maaaring mangyari sa aksidente or sa pagkadulas, ganun. Tapos yung intentional, pwede yung painumin ka ng last, ng intoxicated na maaaring magpalaglag sa bata. So, yun lang po. Sana madami kayo natutunan. Happy learning!